Today's episode, we're going to look at this crazy table of Starlink Mini accessories and options. And we're going to show in this episode how to use the Mini Basic Kit and a few inexpensive accessories to get great connectivity, not just to your house, but through your house and also on your car, even traveling 70 miles an hour. When you buy your Mini, it typically comes with a, I believe it's a 15 meter power cord with this waterproof connector. And that connects right here. And this is an ethernet connection, that's for later. And that's pretty much what comes with the kit. And for a lot of us, it's all we need. I can take this and go out to my outside. I can put it a, a mounting adapter or I can place it down there and I can power it from a outdoor receptacle. I can use my computer in my breakfast area. I have a clear line of sight through a glass door and I can get 200 to 300 megabits per second with just this basic setup. Now, while you're buying, and this video is not about getting you to buy anything, put your credit cards away. I'm not trying to get you to spend money, but if you're going here, this is the time to buy some mounting adapters. I mean, from Starlink, you can get this adapter or this mounting pole for $10. Or if you want to do it from a gable or something, you can get this one for $10. Or if you want to have a bike rack, or excuse me, a car roof rack option, or if you want to mount on an RV or even on a building, this adapts to the back of your Mini and you're good to go. But I think besides mounting, the one other piece of hardware you just got to have for your home installation is the Router Mini. This is new. It comes with a power adapter and it's only $40. Let's say you have other places in your home, like I have a TV over here. If I want to be able to get a signal there, I've got to go through walls, walls, a curio cabinet perhaps, but the biggest obstruction, I just happen to have a power panel, so I have all this metal and electrical interference. Put that router on a kitchen counter, I'm choosing, I'm gonna go here to here and through that wall and through the ceiling, and now I get whole house coverage, make a difference of not getting a signal and getting a signal. Well, you might want to consider getting a dongle that has this weatherproof connector for the power cord. These are designed so once the adapter's in there, the mount itself kind of holds that plug in place. So you got to remove the mount to unplug or make any adaptation. And that's for the ethernet as well. And if you choose to go to ethernet cable route, this is ethernet cable. You got to pull out the waterproof plug. And now you can snap your cable in place with the waterproof adapter. And on this end, I have a barrel connector. Now this is an RJ45. Okay, so now I have the other end of that connector that I can plug a ethernet cable into. And there's a collar that comes with this that fits over this cable that makes this a waterproof connection. So now, no matter what mount I have hooked up, I can leave the mount in place and I can just make connections with my standard cords here. Or I can hook up my RJ45 or I can cap it off and make it waterproof. I can do all that and not have to take the mini down and it's just a much more convenient way to operate and you can get these for, I don't know, 10 to $15 a piece 
and it's just a nice little add-on. When we think about mobile, there are many ways to fixture your Mini onto something that attaches to your car, and there's basically two main ways of doing it, either with suction cups, or in this case, with magnets. To make this work, you really want to buy the car adapter from Starlink, and I think this is $45. And with it, you get a high-powered, um, it runs off of USB-C, but this thing puts out up to 30 volts, so you get the most power through this small cable to your, your Starlink. And you can mount it on about any surface, and that is on there. Now, uh, these are probably 25-pound magnets each. I got four of them, but it's on thin metal. So I probably have at least 40 to 60 pounds of pull down force on this. It's not going anywhere. So this is the front of my Ridgeline pickup truck. And I didn't know this until I was getting ready to make this video, but I came out with my, my magnetic mount and I discovered it has an aluminum hood. So mounting this on the hood is a no-go, but fortunately mounting it up on top will work perfectly fine and it's very secure. I'm running it through my back uh, window and into my cigarette lighter and I have the cable uh, plugged in here. So I've been driving around for about half an hour doing speed tests and I can't show you because my camera turns off whenever I do a speed test, but I have seen everything from the very low, about 10 megabits per second while moving to upwards of 175. And, you know, I wish I could tell you that, hey, I get this great coverage in these more open spaces like you see right here, but sometimes these are below 50, sometimes they're 150. But as I approach up here where there's a lot of overhang, I would have thought, man, I'm gonna drop out for sure. But surprisingly, I actually got some of my faster speeds with these overhang. Good news is, this looks pretty robust to get a usable signal for cell calls, for map uploads, and maybe, in many cases, good internet coverage while moving. Hey, once you get over about 30 to 35, you can stream high definition content on YouTube. So there's not a whole lot you can't do with this thing mobile mounted in many situations and basic communications in most situations. Cruising 70 miles an hour on the interstate. <laughs> First of all, the unit is not flying off my hood or my roof. But secondly, I'm getting 70 plus megabits per second internet speed traveling at these speeds, which is fantastic. 